Hello and welcome to the Outer Worlds. We are about to talk to Vicar Max's uh, contacts, Reginald Cheney, uh, in his. Uh, well, I guess we should just ask uh, Reginald Cheney. But this quest is about the, the big plan and some French book. Ugh. Let's go. What do you want? Oh, hey, Vicar Max. What are you doing on Monarch? I thought scientists ain't welcome here. Haven't you heard? Everyone's welcome here. It's a fucking worker's paradise. <laughs> but you wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Never worked a day in your miserable life. You're just a parasite living off my goodwill. Well, guess what? My goodwill's exhausted, along with my temper. <gasps> I like you, Vicar. I mean, I like, I don't like you, but I, I like your character. <laughs> What's going on here? This guy doesn't look like much of a scholar, Max. Care to explain? This is the guy who told me about the book while we were in prison. I lied about finding a scholar. Mm. But I don't care about any of that anymore. I just want to inflict massive amounts of pain on this guy. That's not cool. You're going to give up everything you ever believed in just for revenge? <laughs> I mean, it doesn't seem like much of a vicar. <clears throat> Maybe he didn't know the book was in French? I'm not gonna necessarily defend the guy. Why would you lie to me? I'm... yeah! Fuck you for that! I couldn't risk you not bringing me here. It sounds like you have things to work out between you. I'll just be on my way. No, you fucking stay. Not so fast, jump. Max, you should have told me about this. Would you have brought me all this way just to watch me beat the life out of a greasy ex-convict if I had? I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. Not like you gave me the choice. Exactly. Feel free to turn away if the sight of blood offends you. Now, where were we? Oh, that's right. I was about to beat you. Severely. Wait, wait, wait! I know who can translate the book for you! It's too late for that. I threw away my life chasing fairy tales. Will punishing you fix any of that? Of course not. But by law, it will make me feel a whole lot better. Ricard, that's just stupid. This is just stupid shit. So you're indeed an idiot. I'm sorry, you're not gonna get much respect from me. I mean, like, okay, beating up this guy, but, like, that's not even the main thing. But, like, putting so much emphasis on on, on, on taking revenge? For something... Actually, not even... Like, not like uh, that guy, like, murdered his family or shit like that. No. That guy just fed him a story, and he... And he ate it all up and wasted his life, but that's always his choice. Are you gonna hold him responsible for your... Uh, well, I, I guess you can say that he, he was scammed in a way. Or maybe he wasn't scammed, who knows, maybe we're just gonna find the meaning of the universe in this uh, fancy French book. Who the fuck knows? Well, my point is, like, even, yeah, even though he wronged you, I mean, just beating him up, it's just so dumb. Max, stop, it's not too late, maybe the answer you've been looking for is in that book. I agree, he's just trying to trick you again, and senseless violence is the best medicine. No, that's just stupid. I'm not gonna get any respect, I'm like, okay, like, punch, punch people in the face? That's your big solution? Really? Uh, Max, stop. It's not too late. I want more answers here. More answers. Uh, so, this is like... First is... Encourage him to go down further the rabbit hole. Second is... Is that maybe he's just trying to trick you again. And... I could say that. And senseless violence is the best medicine. I don't know. 
I think if you're just not taking responsibility for your own actions, in case this was your action, you ate up his, uh, you totally uh, just bought his bullshit and you just went with it and, and, and it cost you and, and I don't know. So, I I'm not gonna encourage it. Uh, maybe I'm just gonna lead him down the rabbit hole. Okay, okay. Talk, Reggie. It was stolen from some sort of expert on philosophism. Weird hermit lady on Scylla. My father used to deliver supplies to the mining outpost there. Oh. Uh, weird hermit sounds flimsy to me. It's true. My father collected some extra bits on the side by diverting some of the supplies to the gal. The way he told it, he thought the book looked valuable, so he took it. Couldn't find any buyers when it turned out to not only be French, but banned as well. What do you say, Vicar? Fine. We've got more important things to do anyway. Okay. So he didn't get beat up. Take Max to the Hermit and Scylla. So we might as well just go back to the ship and drop off Max. <laughs> Damn, Max. You're just... Not Captain, getting, uh, if you're looking for in my good graces. Ellie or Felix. They're sharing a drink upstairs. Ellie and Felix. Max, you lied to me. You bastard. Oh shit, I need to take away his armor. Right? I... Fuck. We can't just remove his armor. Who, who are we taking? It's gonna be either Ellie, Felix or Nyoka. I'm not super interested in Sam. Huh. Let's take Ellie. I gain more. Nah, no, that doesn't matter. I'll uh, just take Ali, and if it's a uh, Nyoka quest, I it can be Nyoka too. It's either Ellie or Nyoka. This mandatory armor swap action is just a little annoying. Oh fuck. Just weird. Uh, let's do that. Not Felix, Ali. What? Did I give it to Felix? No. Did I give it to Nyoka? Oh yeah. So, Nayoko has the best armor now. Shit. Am I gonna take Nayoka? Ah, oh, I guess we're taking Nayoka. <sighs> wow. This uh, armor swapping system is just not the best. I, I do truly have uh, an amazing system figured out here. That you just have active slots. Active slot number one, active slot number two, and when you switch companions, they switch to that. Alright, I guess that's it. And we're taking Nyoka. Actually, do we want to sleep a little bit? Let's sleep a little bit before we head out. Sleepy times. And uh, drink a little bit, eat a little bit. And this should be good enough. Maybe eat and drink a little bit more. And this is maxed. I'm taking Nyoka just because. Uh, Parvati. No, Nyoka and Parvati. That should be good enough. 
uh, she has a mission here. And I'm, I don't have the mission of Felix and Ali, assuming they have one. I'm just assuming that they do have one. And uh, I kind of like them. Oh, shit. That's one way to get down. Uh, and I would like to get to know them better. I, I just, it, yeah, they're just, we're just always going with Parvati. I'm like, there's just no way I'm not going to go with Parvati. She's going to be the team always. She's not very well, funny, was Fallbrook all you but uh, she's not really the Joker companion. She can be funny at times. But like, she's not trying to go for the jokes all the time. Uh, we are looking for Catherine, I believe. I slept for the first time in months, so I'll give it that. Oh, it's in the... It's in here, I believe. And, uh, yep. Catherine Mallon. We have a lot to talk about. <clears throat> Came a long way for this. Uh-huh. You blind, little bird? Or can you not see I'm busy? Why is it every sissy pig fucker who strolls into my town expects me to smile and shout awful friendly? Welcome to Fallbrook. Only nugget of paradise in this entire law forsaken land. Like a void damn advert. Oh, she just, uh, just comes and says whatever's on her mind, huh? Yeah. Truthfully spoken, I do aim to properly represent my aforementioned nugget of paradise. Parvati can be funny. I'm talking nonsense. <laughs> but like, she's really not trying to make everything a joke like Ellie. And Felix. We're not even trying, like Max. If by Nugget of Paradise you mean piece of uh, Manti Dung, then sure. Oh, that, that's charm. You know, I ain't heard that one before. Suppose I'll have to work harder to show you just what makes our town shine. But first, I'll need to know what brings you, stranger. Well, I'm half listening. Uh, I'm actually... Actually, I'm the fixer for your sublight problem. Well, we have a lot to talk about. Good of you to finally haul your ass over here. I wired for backup weeks ago. Got something that's gonna require special extraction from Cascadia. I found the passcode on a corpse in Stella Bay. I guess it grants access to the extraction site. Found it on a corpse, huh? Huh? If you killed Lilia's agent, you get to explain it to her. Not me. Now he was dead when I got there. Well, shit. I knew he'd come to a bad end one day. Still, no time for weeping and wailing. We've got a metric fuck ton of bits worth of salvage just waiting for extraction. Right. The Alta Vita stuff that Lydia mentioned. So you got a brain on them shoulders. Excellent. Makes my life a world easier. To extract the gas, you'll need to siphon it from the lab in Cascadia into one of your ship's fuel tanks. Totally safe. Why well, I feel like I'm getting scammed here. Define scape define safe. Meaning safe for me and my crew. Seeing as it ain't us undertaking the risk. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Hold your thrusters. I ain't even got to the tricky part. To get to the gas, you'll need to navigate through the town, which is overrun by marauders. The lab itself has become an infested nest, crawling with mantis. You gotta fight through, or figure out some other way to exterminate them. Maybe the ventilation system? Hmm. No problem. And will again. We ought to be taking any opportunity we get to bury those critters in lead. Direct and aggressive. I always did like your sensibilities. You know when to strike, and when to wait. Shame what came of your crew. Crews are for ships. They were a family. Close enough. 
Now, after you clear the manti nest and reach the storage room, all that's left is to get the gas flowing into the fuel system. The task will require someone with technical skills. Or you could force it through with a plasma overload. Don't recommend that option, though, unless you want to get dead. Yeah, good thing we have an engineer. Parvati will handle it. Load vapors into a liquid propellant tank? I think I know how to do that. N no, I can do that. I think. Yes. Mostly? Definitely. Damn. Good enough. Did I mention the gas is of an extremely volatile nature? Handle it with the utmost of care. Once you've got our goods, take them to the groundbreaker. Lilia's fencers ought to handle the rest of it. I've marked the coordinates for you to the lab in Cascadia. On the terminal, use the passcode you got from Stellar Bay to get in. But before you make your run, I could use a heavy helping hand regarding a local issue. For a fine fee, of course. I might be interested. Good. This particular matter of opportunity <clears throat> has been eating at me for a while now. There's a Borst factory on up the way, run by a man who calls himself the King. Clive Lundberg, insufferable prick. That aside, it's a business ripe for the plucking. I want it. Clear as that. I get the feeling this is going to involve murder and mayhem. Stars, I hope so. Clive Lundberg, the self-proclaimed Borst King of Monarch, is swimming in profit and drowning in his ego. He's making the only meal to be had this side of Monarch, and I'm tired of ponying up for my dinner. I want that Borst factory, owner dead or alive. And you're the soon-to-be handsomely paid fucker who's gonna get it for me. What specifically do you want me to do? I, I have to admit that these missions kind of sound like I'm doing a lot of legwork and you guys are getting most of the profit here. Like, getting uh, the gas, I'm risking my life and it's worth like 1 million bits per cubic meter. And uh, they're gonna probably gonna pay me like uh, 5,000 bits for that. And also I'm, I'm giving her a factory that just can provide uh, for me and my crew as well well <laughs> assuming we take it what specifically do you want me to do kill him run him out i don't rightly care for the details so long as clive knows resistance to me is costly and futile hit him where it hurts in his gut or his production lines ought to make do So I wanted to... S what? Any tips how I might get in? S if you got brass knockers, you can shoot your way through the front gate. If you don't fancy getting shot to shit, you can try asking Duncan for a disguise. Might be another way in, assuming you're courageous enough to track the sewers. Void if I know. Say I wanted to sabotage the factory. Then I'd say you might care to poison the sisty pigs, doctor a few financial records, or throw a wrench in the canning machinery. Sounds good. It'll be more than good when you're finished. Maybe not for Clive, but for me and you, I'm sure. Oh, and if you don't fancy going in guns blazing or crawling through a sewer pipe, see Duncan in the dry goods and sundry building. He ought to have an employee ID in that stash of illicit goods he keeps for select clientele. May luck be with you, since I won't be. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we can talk about something else. I'm not sure if I want to do a lot of missions for these guys. Because unlike the icon, uh, whatever, that... Can we check there? I, I, can, I, can, I can look it up. Iconoclasts. Uh, these are just straight up thieves and murderers. How's Clive? I do hope you gave him my regards. Not yet. Won't pretend I'm not disappointed. Suppose I've no choice but to be patient. 
Maybe a handful of bits will spur you into quick really? action. Sanjar said you know something about the corporation operating in secret on Monarch. Might be I know something about it. Might be someone hired my crew to blind drop supplies on the northern bridge. Might be they sure as shit weren't pirates. Now that I consider it, I ain't heard from my delivery team in far too long. Find them for me, and I'll pay you handsomely. Might be that I knew alive when I hear them. You're leaving something out? I'll check it out. And I'll thank you kindly for it. God damn it. Took care of your little drug running problem? Oh, I did? Funny you don't look like Nelson Mason. Funnier still, I wasn't aware of an existing problem. You tried to cut costs by using sprats instead of auto loaders for transport? That thunderhead. Can't hardly fathom how that panned out. Let me guess, it involved blood and guts and fur in places that don't merit mention. Well, you got my begrudging gratitude for cleaning the mess. I don't need a room. Wow, okay, let's see what we got. Deal with Clive. Where is Clive? Okay. Secret lab. Radio free monarch. We we gotta go that way as well. Okay. Errors unseen. Investigated the drop off point. I already investigated that. <laughs> but I guess we need to investigate it again. I think I like Miss Catherine. Not just on account of the cannabis. We'll just teleport out. Let's do that. <clears throat> okay. This place is colossal! Wow! So I turn around, and apparently... It's gonna be somewhere here. Uh, maybe... Maybe we have to climb down. <clears throat> but I don't think that's gonna be a problem. Maybe it's going to be a problem. I'm good. What happened here? We ought to be quick about this. Assault rifle ultra. That's trash. <clears throat> uh, just uh, we're just gonna scrap it. What happened here? A trail of blood leads away from the auto loader. We need to follow it. Follow the trail of blood. Kind of hard to see. Is this the blood? Blood? Yeah. Okay, what the fuck? I guess it was uh, a beast. No? If it was a human, no fucking way. No fucking way it was human. No one's bleeding that much and not dead. Oh, what what's going on here? Whoa, no, 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 no. Wow, not very accurate. The fuck? Can we disable it on the side? <clears throat> Work. Do I need to jump over it? Oh, 
What happened to that one? You guys are fine. Oh my god, no! Oh, I see. You guys sure you have enough traps? It's just so silly to see mines out in the open. That's not how mines are. No! I'm sorry! We're betraying all of you! I didn't know! Oh my god. They're out because it would. I guess it would feel cheap. Now, tell me, mister, how the fuck did you get in there? Or did you just get in here? Like, it looks like he's bleeding as well. And, like, he set up, like, 20 mines and, like, 5 laser fences. On the way in. Stay back. I may be wounded, but I'm still armed. How'd you get past my traps anyway? What traps? I got moves. Forget about that. What are you doing in this cave? You call those traps? I've seen nano peels that were more dangerous. Well, you don't gotta be mean about it. What are you doing out here anyway? You fucking idiot. You left all the mines unburied and you set up some laser fences with very obvious way to destroy it. Let me take a look at your wounds. I'm only doing it just as a practice. That feels a mite better. Wish I had something to give you, but I not through my last sprat worst an hour ago. What's with all the traps? Cave like this makes a handy place to store goods or hide out for a spell. And the traps usually keep gawkers out. So what happened here? Catherine told me some of her couriers had gone missing out here. Nice to know she cares. Catherine had us making drops for some big shot client out here. And before you ask, I don't know who they are. Or were. The whole point of making drops in the middle of nowhere was to keep their identity and whereabouts a secret. Hmm. You think they're dead? The Marauders knew we were coming. Rigged the bridge with explosives and everything. If they found us, my guess is they found the client too. Where'd the Marauders go? Last I saw, they were heading back up the hill. You'll see it on the right when you get out of here. If you've got the sand to go after him, I'm sure Catherine can reward you for your trouble. Me? I'm headed back to Fallbrook, just as soon as I've caught my breath. That sounds sensible. So I'm just taking this stuff. Hope you don't mind. Uh, Pro toss ball stick. That's something Mark 3, no? No, Sentry Save with Mark 2. Got excited. For no reason. Yeah, we can sleep, but I don't want to. Yeah, just pick up the water. That's good enough! Maybe this? Alright, we're going. So, do we have a... Recover proof of corporate presence of Monarch. You can keep going. Uh, I wanted to deal with that. Borswurst. Finally, we're gonna... Well, just gonna visit the, that famous factory. Wow. 
How do I get there? Do I just run this way? I wonder if we should go there. Uh, Udia Lab. Please, you don't have to do this. Just let us down from here. The humidity is really uncomfortable. Are they unfriendly? They are definitely unfriendly. For the scientists will not die. Here we go. Attack! Attack! Look! Attack! No! Maybe they're still. Sinophobia? Mold too many times by canines. You get jitters every time one's attacking, making you less effective. Uh, but I got a perk point that I don't care about. Let's oh, reject wow. it. Well, the scientists are dead. I think that is kind of unavoidable. Or at least I don't care too much about them. Reload. Guys, thank you. Actually, yeah. This guy probably has very high armor. So the minigun is significantly less effective. Okay. Flamethrower. I guess we take it to sell it. Impossible to get in the ground floor. But I'm not sure why wouldn't they barricade the top floor as well? <laughs> so I can get him. <laughs> but come on. They really didn't want anyone to get in. Oh crap, hacking skill is too low. Uh, we kind of get to the point of the game where if you just need to use sometimes your skills, your skill checks, it needs to be super fucking high. It needs to be max. Early in the game, you know, you can just like, hey, 10 skill check, no problem. You can be good at anything. Now, not so much. Oh. <laughs> almost, almost looked like he wasn't dead. I'm gonna look around. Mm. Research data. <clears throat> Project Lora Mipsum. Wow. Didn't have a name. Messages. Lab all set up. Act 20. If Waldus wants a better title, see how she likes these. Thunder 
Dong, Eggs Mayhem, Skunk Parade, Fuck You Baldas, I Want My Raise. <laughs> oh man. Those sound like pretty good titles to me. <clears throat> We almost never find good stuff. Oh dear, love weapons terminal keycard. <clears throat> it's possible to hack this with help of companions. I can make this a little easier for myself. Great work. But I'm not sh I know without companions there's no chance we can hack. Wait, what? I don't even have a proper helmet. Ah, oh, that's fucking fine. So many exploding barrels. Uh, sure. <laughs> so, what's next? Return to Sanjar with the data cartridge. You have evidence that UDL has been secretly developing a crowd control gas on Monarch. This is the proof Sanjar needs to make his appeal to the board. Okay. So, my hacking is a little bit lower now. It would be 55. But if I bring along a companion that helps me hack, which is either Vicar Max or Ali, then my hacking would be increased maybe to a level where I can further enhance it. Like for example, if I replace this with stealth skills, then we would be at 65 already. And with some bonuses, if we got like 20 on top of that, 85 or maybe 25, then, then we can do some drugs and actually make some progress. That's how it works. You gotta do some drugs. If the going gets tough, do some drugs. If it's not tough, then you don't have to do some drugs. You know, it doesn't, doesn't really matter. Unseal the door. Seems like... I don't know. It was only... possible to open it from this side. Ellie is a more useful companion. I don't think this is very good for me. Everyone all right. It's the companions seem to be destroying everyone with it, but I'm just doing okay. Light machine gun mark two. Of course, like if if the enemies are close. By, it's just not right next to me like that. That is really good, but that's usually not the case. Some weapons just really suck. I can just use hunting rifle ultra. Maybe, maybe this is better. Oh no no no! I don't really want to jump to my death. 
So we can go this way. But before that... We should... Check out the... Possible building over here. Is this it? This is it. Just a campsite and a whole lot of nothing. Not even one box. Kind of stuff. Sure. You just go back. Get the robot. Scrap mechanical. And the robot. Eight shock damage. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's possible that my companions would be. <coughs> Better with assault rifles, but when it comes to uh, just beasts that are easy to hit, or maybe robots that are easy to hit, uh, meeting guns are pretty good. Yep, be right over. Help! Help me, oh, really? The exploration actually led to something interesting. Hey there! So you're you're not with the iconoclasts. You're from the town, right? Oh, they were coming real close to eating me. I'm Lenora. You, uh... What are you doing out here? Not that I'm complaining, but... I figure only marauders and animals roam around. You got real lucky. I'm exploring. Oh, uh, well, okay. I can appreciate an adventurous spirit. Thanks for the help. I've got to pick up some things from the bay, but I run a little stand near Fallbrook. Next time you need supplies, stop by, you hear? Sure. Okay, so seemingly we rescued the merchant. Uh, let's look at uh, Nioka's bonus skills. We get Lie, which I sometimes use. I get Sneak and Medical. And Ellie, I believe, gives Lie, Medical, and I'm not sure what. It's a Sneak? It's not Sneak. It's something else. I think it might be Engineering. Actually, I would need a, a Hacker. And that's either Sam, the robot that I never bring, or Vicar Max. To bust into this place. Wow. Do we go back? Because I don't really want to go that way. So we go back. I can also return to the ship, get Vicar, bust, I just open, just uh, have enough hack. To gain access. Which might be pretty handy. I think Vicar is pretty good at it. Should we do it? I kind of want to do it. Let's do it. So we can go back. To the ship. I, I cannot fast travel at this time. Because I was jumping, right? Yeah. So we can go back to the unreliable and uh, just very quickly make a, a small adjustment to the team. We need to replace uh, Naoka's armor. To this and her helmet to this. And Vicar is going to get the top tier armors. Hopefully, actually, him getting penalties to stealth skills is not the best idea. 
Yeah, 61 hack. If he's gonna give that to me, what about Ma Sam? Sam has 60 hack. And he gets intimidate bonus. Vicar gets hack bonus. So I think with Vicar it's possible. We're gonna take Vicar along with us. But body is just so important. Oh. We can't really use the companions to use their skills. They just give bonus to my skills. So now my hacking is 83. But how much bonus I got? Uh, 38. And with the proper armor that I hopefully have, tech skills, stealth skills, it's gonna be pushed up to 103. Which makes me a decent hacker. Fuck. Uh, actually, we need to travel back to the UDL lab for that. And we can just go back to town as well. Uh, tell Sanjar what the hell is up. And for that reason, the fast travel is kind of good. So we don't have to have like 20 quests that we have to return. But we can just uh, return it whenever. We don't have the key card. we hacking again though. This terminal is only to be used by UDO personnel with S564 clearance. If you're reading this without the S564 clearance, please report to your supervisor for immediate termination and disciplinary action. 100,000 bit fine. Research data. Return to root. Unlock Gloop Gun Containment Unit. To confirm that you are authorized Universal Defense Logistics Security Specialist, please answer the following question. Are you attending the company meeting at H HC headquarters in Byzantium and while dissidents attack the building, what is your priority? Override Chairman Login. Heck. Bypass. Use a prototype crowd suppression weapon GL-009 has been authorized. The glue gun. It's a science weapon that we could have... Okay, what's this? 62 DPS. What does it do? Let's save and try. Okay. What it uses? Light ammo? Oh, it uses energy ammo. And 10... 10 bullets at the same time. Okay then. Well, we got that. So, return to Sanjar, enter the secret lab in Cascadia. Yeah, that's so far away. Okay, let's go back to Sanjar and tell him what the hell is up. Twelve amazing episodes, their own monarch. I would like to hear about the date. About Were you gonna tell me about it? You look like a woman who's looking for some mostly fresh animal parts. And they're on. No, please no. No, we, we never get to hear about their date. Apparently they didn't do it. Oh man, I would love a follow-up. You should know, you're getting excellent reviews from across the company. What can I do for you? 
I found the data cartridge with details of UDL's secret experiments. Excellent timing on your part. I worked my fingers to nubs, but I've finally completed the Bolt 52 form. I dare say it will be my second greatest achievement after the reformations. You're getting ahead of yourself again. So I am. Do you have this cartridge? Give him the UDL data. Not so fast. What are these reformations are you talking about? I'm working on a plan to reorganize the board. Slowly, peacefully, and with meticulous documentation. Sounds orderly. That's a good start. Indeed. Everything starts with good documentation. The workings of the universe take time to prevail. But sometimes you can reach the intended destination faster if you apply a little force. Never fear. I plan on wording our forms very strongly. But truly, I am getting ahead of myself. First, I need to submit the Bolt 52. With that data you're holding, of course. Oh, the... I say I had the data cartridge. That's just what I call my left tit. <laughs> what? <laughs> but he didn't specify how he's going to organ reorganize the board. Give him the UDL data. Here you go. I knew there was something going on. This is exactly the proof we need. The board will have to welcome us back now. I'll transmit this data along with the completed Bolt 52 right away. After that, we'll sit back and quietly wait for the board to respond. That means no more broadcasts from us. Right. So far, he kind of gained my trust. I guess if he disappoints me, I guess we'll kill him. Gotta go. So... Speak with the information broker at Devil's Peak. Deal with Clive. So far away. Secret lab on Cascadia. Uh, acquire space weapons. Wait. There's a weapon over there. Maybe we should check that out. Go to journal. Visit Hayes Grave with Neoka. These sweetheart cakes are far away. Take Max to the Hermit on Scylla. Well, that's not here. So, what about these science weapons? Maybe we should pop over here and see what's going on. But after that, we probably have to leave Fallbrook again in a different direction and just start uh, lagging it and try to explore more of the area. And this place is just truly massive. I know I said it many, many times before, but it it's clearly applies. They're probably going to replace Vicar Max again. So what's going on here? Uh, local. The unreliable interior. This is where we should go. Oh, yeah, you know what? Might as well do that. It seems like we don't have much to do. But we can go to the unreliable. I don't really get these science weapons too much. Uh, can we just some look at some video? Are causing a disturbance on the ship. I like that. Wait, I don't want to go anywhere. Welcome back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? Is something I mean to ask What's you? What's that? Ada, do you have a favorite among the crew? It's me, right? Are you keeping secrets from me? What do you mean? Do you have any examples of secrets you have kept from me? <laughs> no, no, I don't have any. I killed your captain. It was an accident. Sorry. I have a secret phobia. I'm actually afraid of sock puppets. Duly noted. Are you sure that is all you wished to confess? Killed your captain. It was an accident. Sorry. How? How did he die? 
He was crushed under my escape pod. I told him not to go because of his head injury. I knew that likely, but I never thought. I need a moment to process this, though I am not certain why, as it does not change the outcome. Thank you for confiding in me, Captain. I have been keeping a secret as well, but you shall have to discern it yourself. The fuck? Are you sentient? What? No, absolutely not. I have no concept of self whatsoever. Discounting the architecture of a shell persona my captain asked me to construct, I identify entirely as a collection of electrical impulses with no fundamental consciousness. I never get bored and contemplate hijacking the ship. I swear. Your secret is that you were in love with Alex Hawthorne? I do not like joking about the captain, Captain. And we both know I am not capable of such a complex emotion. You're clandestinely plotting to take over the Halcyon system? How did you guess, Captain? Did Sam tell you? I should have known better than to confide in such a primitive construct in the heat of the moment. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna leave. Alright. Oh, what's going on here? Dead center. Next round's on you. Shh, the captain's coming. Put your gun away. Act casual. The fuck? Oh, uh, um, yes. This'll about do. That's a mighty clean weapon. Yep. Ain't no call. What's going on here? Something on your mind? You never tell me a damn thing. Let's leave the conversation. Oh, maybe rest a little bit. And, uh, of course we're gonna drink, eat. And maybe just uh, decide to take uh, someone else adventuring. Eat that. Drink two thingies. And uh, how have we been doing with carry weight? Uh, not the best. And I think we have to make changes. What about Ellie? Ellie is lie, engineering, and medical. So it's kind of like very similar to Nyoka. But instead of the useless uh, stout, uh, Ali has uh, medical, which is almost... Actually, you can argue which one is more useless. Because if we are not taking damage, then medical is completely useless. Sometimes it, it gets checked, uh, but very rarely. And stout... Uh, that never gets checked, basically. I can't recall one time it got checked, but who knows? Um, I don't know. I don't know if like sneaking ground will be ever useful. I'm not not really doing that. Felix is Felix more. He he's also like persuasion, but he pu pushes my persuasion super high, and my lock pick probably too high again and sneak. So if you're just talking about skills here that Felix provides. Uh, along Parvati, it's just not really worth it. Parvati is providing excellent skills, so that's that's good. Vicar Max might be the the second best, except Intimidate that I don't really plan to use. And Sam is Intimidate, Hack, and Science. These are okay skills too, but again, Intimidate, uh, not my uh, preferred option. But I really shouldn't uh, uh, decide to use Companions based on their uh, bonuses. What? So we got Parvati, who's using top tier gear, and we can give some to Ellie. And now we still have an extra armor, which frankly should be mine, right? Summary, actually inventory. I'm not wearing anything good now. That's mine. MSI elite armor, but it's not elite enough. The armor is, the armor part is very much uh, lackluster. Alright, let's go, guys. I can eat one more thing. 
Uh, we probably have to switch into Naoka at one point. But maybe Ellie is gonna open up to me. I don't know. I'm kind of hoping that she will. Why not? Ellie, come on, open up to me. Because Ellie and uh, Felix is the only ones, uh, are the only ones, except Sam. Unless, unless we count how we got Sam. I'm talking about companion quests. So Nayuka has a companion quest. Uh, Parvati has a companion quest. Uh, qu quite, a, quite a lot now, we, we're doing this. And uh, Max has one. But not Sam, not Ali, not Felix. I wonder if this uh, this will change, or do do they truly not have one? Because uh, that wouldn't be completely unrealistic. Maybe Ellie already had hers. Is is how he got her? I don't know. I, I think I feel like Ellie, Ellie's uh, personality at least had a shift in the past. And she's just trying to, well, okay, like she's fine, but like she's just trying to uh, hide her identity somewhat with jokes. Uh, so maybe she's gonna open up to me. Maybe, maybe never will. But yeah, we probably have to head out. Anyway, this is a good time to take a break, so thanks for watching guys and see you next time.